Welcome back. I'm very impressed with how Yokem has been kind of fitting the, the Galaxy Racer boys and, and now on a, a hoodwink. See how he can play. Mm -hmm. out so many brood spiders and yeah. just fed an incredible amount of net worth through to him. So yeah, yeah that's that could very much be a possibility. Top actually, Polo is going to give up first blood. Play hard. That's actually a big impact. Not being able to get the early kill with, I believe, two mangoes used. And hell, that's me. It might even be a problem right. here. CTM. He's going to end up getting the kill before he dies. He's still trying to man fight with the double edge back up. Play hard. Fairy Fire's got to leap to get away. <laughs> now, how about this mid match? Oh, number. What lane? Atsumi. It's a big kill to pick up on Mizu. This lane is going a lot better than I expected. They're going to get a second. Oh, they actually used the RP mid with the combo with the arrow underneath the tower. That's how you can see plays coming out. Lacrity, too late with the ultimate. At the top side, and we'll see Genuel fall down bot for Yopage. Drag back, RP. It's there, and Rage is on cooldown, so in your dream. He's going to end up falling. Yeah, that's pretty nutty. You know, yeah, you're wanting this set for, again, the build isn't rushing it super early on. Actually, are they going to get a kill here onto the Broodmother? Mizu. Thought about sending around a right click, but Natsumi got one more stifling dagger. Another level crit. six is picked up as well. So a first tick crit. Alacrity's got the boat. He's gonna try and get the kill on top of Natsumi. Needs the tide, bring a bonus damage. He finds a connection. Nice attempt. You know, back to the utility just because of how rough of a game he's had or what no, that's it's gonna be. This could be yep. a bit of a bait though. Kiss is flying on forward. And he tries to shock the damage, but still. They can't find the snap fire in the back line, but regardless, it's a great RP stampede, allowing Yopage to get a little bit of distance away with the frostbite extra control. And your dream's gonna try and fly on over. Brings down the Crystal Maiden, won't have any lockdown though to get the Marana kill. Charge up the sharpshooter. Oh, it land. The mark. And they're able to drag back the towers being destroyed. So there's no extra no rotations in the, to the middle of the fight here. My cock is beefy, is but it's attack. not that beefy. We're a little low on mana though. That's the one thing I'd be worried about on uh, Obi Neon right now. Is it? Solo RP shockwave miss. Oh, they're actually screwing back to the arrow. Nice play from Yopage there. <laughs> Genuine. <laughs> it's like if I get any farm on their side of the map, I may as well pop the freezing field. He might just lose He's all the gonna... majority of the gold that he just got. Oh, they Natsumi. found a more He's important target. Yeah, Natsumi. X Torrent sets up for the sharpshooter. They've bring down the Crystal Maiden too. And with these pickoffs, they're actually going to think Pick about leading it to Roshan. All right, play hard. What can you do? Five seconds left on that Sacred Arrow. Yokaj as well. He's got the uh, pickoff now. Skewer, RP. Drop now, finally. Conker's gonna get control with a get great out, use of the bushwhack and alacrity. No, he'll still end up falling. That cookie gets some distance, it's not enough. They do pick up Roshan though. So the little bit of space created there for Unfortunate, they lose the tier two tower. 45 seconds left on this Aegis timer. Oh, they're gonna try and get the outpost as well, but Natsumi instantly jumping on forward. Crits down the snap fire. BKB gonna be popped as well. Natsumi not kited, jumps on the back line. Mizu, they did a great job at targeting the Broodmother. And now a double rub B from Yopage. Skewer back to the grasping hands of the rest of Neon's heroes. Alacrity will attempt the TP, but the Yule's already picked up from play hard to be able to cancel that one. You try and smoke and they're just yeah, just out of range. Radiant mm -hmm. scanning. Scan connects. They're running to Lacrity. He gets the boat off. Torrent, Natsumi. He's able to sidestep the combo. Now he's pretty beefy. He's beefy enough to actually get the kill on CTM before he dies. But are they going to stick go. around? They can't. Like, you, your bottom lane is... Not in a position where you can smoke and get an objective. You've already taken the tier two, I suppose, but you know, the run into Natsumi. He's got Genuel to be able to Phantom Strike to if he wants. He's actually trying to force him further and further deeper into a fight. 
Skewer, RP, oh. available and ready to go. They'll get onto two, and that's both the cores here. They're going to get brought down instantly to start the fight. Musu's going to try and buy back, but I don't know if he's going to be able to rejoin this by the time Alacrity will lose his life for Skewer once again. Pass through Alacrity, will claim the life. Now they don't have any cores to deal the damage. It's Galaxy Racer. They're going to have to retreat back. Yopar just Skewer, he's hunting. He does not want to give them any opportunity. It's just joke over there on the sidelines. Tossing out the boomerang like, Dying here, this will help. It's basically like throwing a stick at them. Oh, Mizu? Can he get the kill on CTM? He can't. And now Mizu actually just walked back. He's got the ghost no, set though. The There's the first hit bash. It's very mobile. Oh, Dukes, Yopaj. There we go. That's a big kill. 70 seconds on the deck. It's already low enough. It's going to be easy then for to get a full set of racks here. That back door's gonna Dyer's kick back in soon, though. Yo Paz, haunt us. Nail it. Cute play from Yo Paz. They will control Natsumi. Sharpshooter, not enough also with the boomerang. Natsumi's got this first life. The X drag back. Yo Paz even pops the BKB. So they've dealt with the ages. BKB, no one cooldown from Yo Paz, but he's gonna blink target to get back. Dyer's bottom tower. Level 23. Someone better. Oh, it would have been nice. Oh, oh wait, he Dream. blinked into it. He wants the man fight. Oh, RP Bash actually comes Bash. through. Yopaj, so hasn't dropped it just yet. The BKB is going to get kited. But it's going to get dropped as well. They're doing a very good job to mitigate the Ursa's damage at the start. Finally, Yopaj will drop the hammer. Is the RP controlling? They don't have many buybacks as well. The chain lockdown's there, and the Gs are also there as well. Neon taking a marvelous game one victory. These two teams are really even. I don't think this is a major draft victory for either side. Um, I mean, maybe slightly towards Neon. I don't know if he'll be able to get to this camp in time, actually. And actually being bullied away a little bit by Jazz is going to be a man fight. Xiao, actually? Yo Cam? He should be able to win this, play hard. Doesn't have the level 2, so Yo Cam, he's able to pick it up. First blood for the Phoenix. Well, lane. Severely less than because of having That's Yumi. Stuck in the cogs. Cookie. Back to a minimal amount of health, but nice. Back into the cogs. Mizu. Is able to pick that one up. Just one point in the vacuum was enough there. That is two deaths in a row as well on Natsumi's Wraith King. Yeah. Yeah. A bit low. Fiocam, Alacrity. Going to be able to catch out the Dragonite in the river. So Galaxy Racer. Then. Not going for the Haunt level up just yet on in your dream. Just realizing, look, I probably want to finish up maybe just oh, the nice boots. Hex. Shackles, Cookie, all the stuns laid on top of the park. Who do you reckon would do that? Who, who do you reckon, like... EE. EE? E? Okay. There you go. That was that was really fast, too. Polo, jump in. When you got a target like this, Shaman, so easy to bring down. They even dropped the wall of two. Back, drag back, Natsumi. Gotta be careful. They're all TPing on top of the wall. Even gonna drop the supernova to the northern side. Mortimer kisses. Polo, nice position in the clockwork. However, he can't really run through the globs. He gets surrounded. With the low cooldowns available, they saw that, well, Natsumi's TP back to the top side. He's farming away. He cannot join this fight. Sure. Probably didn't want to either. Onto Yopaj, even committing the wall too. See the great use of the cogs. Coil dropped on top of the backline. Shaman, Haunt, in your dream. Doesn't have a whole lot amount of health to play with, but he doesn't have many heroes to verse. He does not care. Which is having a great game for Mizu, and that's really, really important because he's got Hood actually very close to Pipe. And then if he wants to lead that into more utility, oh, the gonna jump the Necro. The this this time. time, that's what they needed. Get him out of the cogs. Means the Sunray is not going to do as much. He's still in a bit of a peculiar spot with the back drag back onto three. I'll drop the supernova in the river. The side to look to turn. Polis will lose his life. And now the egg, it's getting targeted thanks to the little strata from Jun Well, So two will fall on Galaxy Racer, even though it was a decent start to that engagement. Like if you're against a lot of magic damage, you might be worried. You're a Podge yeah, Play hard. He's got a double damage rune. They're actually going to commit the scythe for Polo-san. 
but he's got a buyback. Coil only on one. Horn fall off with the VAP. Whoa, Big VAP. Mizu onto five. What a great supernova on the high ground as well. But Radiant, can they tank through all the abilities? Mech, Pipe, all used, but they've only found the kill on top of the snap fire. Play hard controlled. They burnt through the Dragonite's life as well. Now they need to target the Wraith King. Northern side, reincarnation. Gonna get popped deep in Natsumi. Slowed up thanks to the fire spirit. And he's gonna get burnt out. Yeah, you deserve some tips, Mizu. Even TP's there as this quick rotation comes through from the rest of them. Might even kill. Play hard two times in a row. Oh, both supports grouped up like that. Haunt, coil breaks. A quick two-man pick off Radiant. Do you actually want to continue with fight? You might be forced to because Natsumi's going to get caught out. Sun Ray, they've already burned through the first life. They also got the Wraith King Illusion. So he's going to spawn back straight on top of the wall. They'll drop the Supernova. The controls a little bit out of range. Great positioning of the Cogs. Pushes Yopaj back into the Sun Lock. The Sun Ray heal. They'll burn through the Dragonite. They'll burn through CTM. Galaxy Racer are executing these fights at such a high level. They don't have much information right now in the game as well in the river. Wrong bling from Ooh, Yopage. No. And now they're underneath an observer board. Hollow will con forward. Finds play hard. Back oh, into the one. Cogs. Supernova again with the sun ray. They can't take the fight into the team fight combo that Galaxy Racer keep executing. They'll find Januel. Alacrity as well doesn't have any stunts. He needs to worry about CTM. He's in trouble here. Ghost Shroud protected, they're still burning him low. Yo Paj is trying to run away, but the call is back up on three. Spirit Vessel out, DK will fall. Another multi hero cooks from Polo Sun. What a game from Galaxy Racer. This is just night and day from game one to game two. Clearly, with how he's been able to get off these multiple vex, as long as he's able to continuously walk around without being stunned, he feels pretty safe. Hex. Instant on the clockwork. So tanky. You see how they're dispersing on Neon. They want to make sure they don't get grouped up because Miz is moving them forward ripped. again. A vac wall. Coil dropped on three. Supernova on the low ground as well. How are they constantly getting multiple heroes? They'll reset this time. The stuns will expire so they can get back to safety. And with the ultimates on cooldown, the age is getting ticked out. Neon, this could be a bit of a window. How are Neon going to respond to this? They've got about a quarter duration left on the Elder Dragon form. They're sticking together though. This feels like a little bit of a fake back coming through from Galaxy all... Racer. And they've even got the haste oh, on Mizu. Blink in, Phoenix. Get That's the target the you were bringing up. You've got to kill the Phoenix, but the cookie actually flies that to me over the Phoenix. And up with the rest of the Spectre Illusion to instantly jump in the back. They'll deal with the Shaman and all their control. CTM back back inside the cogs. He can't get it back out to safety. Natsumi's also stuck as well with the BKB. They've got to call it quits. Galaxy Racer will tie up the series. They only die six times. What a incredible second game from them. It was incredible. Neon, they're going to bring themselves up to seven wins. Galaxy Racer up to eight.